Hi everyone, welcome back again to my channel. So today I'm going to share to you my simple tips on how to begin a daily quiet time with God. As I know it is so simple. You may know this um, effective tips that I have that I tried, but it's very effective for me. It helps me to grow into a um, mature Christian. I'm able to know more about God about Jesus so in a deeper way and also I have a deeper connection with him and also guys this is a very effective in my life it changed my character it changed my temperament it changed everything I react on the situation or in a problem or in, or in a circumstances if you are like me having a hard time to make time with God spend time with God and if you're new in a Christian life so I hope you watch this video and I hope this will help you quiet time is a daily time we set aside to be alone with God to get to know him to connect with him and communicate through Bible worship and prayer To start, we have to maintain a good habits. You must start with a strong desire. You must be internally motivated. External motivations don't last. If you start only half-heartedly, you will never make it to the success point. Begin right now. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. You don't slide into a new habit. One of these days never arrives. You must have a starting point. It's easier to break a bad habit today than it will be tomorrow. Make a covenant or resolution. The power of a vow is awesome. It is particularly powerful if you put your commitment in writing. Never allow an exception until the new habit is securely rooted in your life. Each lapse will be fatal. Continuity and success at the start is essential. Never be swayed by just this once. The act of yielding weakens the will and reinforces your lack of self-control. Remember, it takes three weeks to become comfortable with a new habit and it takes another three to four weeks for it to become a part of your life. Whenever you feel the slightest urge or prompting to practice this new habit, do it then. Don't wait. Seize every opportunity to reinforce your habit. Those feelings will not last. So whenever you feel inclined to perform your new habit, do so. The first step is to select a specific time. The best time to have quiet time is when at our best. For me, I do it early in the morning. I am more rested and my mind is less cluttered. It is often the quietest time. If you are comfortable at night, go for it. Pick a time that is best for you. Whatever time you set, be consistent. Choose a special place. A place that is cozy, quiet, and you are comfortable with. Choose a place that gives you peace and focus or something that inspires you. A place where you can be alone and your focus is in him. No distraction and no phone is allowed in here too. Your bedroom is a good spot or your favorite couch or maybe your dining table with your favorite coffee, study table or your weird best spot. Complete all the resources, a Bible, a notebook and pen to write down what the words speak to you about and to keep your prayer request. You can also add on some devotional books if you have. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. I hope you like this one. I hope you like and subscribe. And Next week, I'm going to make another video, a short video again of um, 
connection into this about how to overcome our problems in our quiet time. So this is for now. Thank you so much guys for tuning in, for watching my video. So see you next time. Bye!